Yes, because uh, first of all, I take serious offense to uh, the panelists uh, comparing Karnataka or India to Pakistan. Come on. No, absolutely. Part, okay, but yes, that's yes, that's the panelist's yes. prerogative, ma'am. So yes, of yes. course, you're right. So I, I take offense to that. Okay. And coming back to uh, uh, you know the issue. Now, when he's talking about giving CBs and development, what is he talking about? Look at Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan. Look at Himachal Pradesh. We are delivering on our promises also, and we are bringing development. Uh, development did not uh, begin in 2014, Mr. Panelist. It began in 1947 in a country where not a needle used to be manufactured. We made so much of money that that is the money that the Prime Minister is using today to tell people that he's spending on infrastructure. Get that straight. This money was not made uh, after 2014, but before 2014, and that included Mr. Atal Bihari Vajpayee's uh, government also. So let's not demean our governments and let's, let's not demean our country. Now, coming to India, coming to Karnataka. Karnataka is going to show the way for to 2024, and it will tell people that it is the uh, politics of development, politics of progress and politics of love and peace and communal harmony which is important okay. as far as um, as far as karnataka is concerned if you look at karnataka and the way karnataka has risen the uh, karnataka did not rise after mr modi came in karnataka has been rising as uh, became the uh, you know uh, it hub not now but much before 2014 so we will take the country on a path of progress again and we will correct all that has been done by the present regime and we will definitely come into power because now it will be a united opposition that Mr. Modi, Mr. Modi alone will have to face because he is the only face and right now he should take the brunt of this defeat because he is solely and wholly responsible for the defeat, defeat of Bajpa in Karnataka.